Born and raised in Washington Heights section of Manhattan, Sister Catherine Reyes Quigley was educated by the Dominican Sisters of Sparco at St. Rosa Lima, Aquinas High School, and St. Thomas Aquinas College. She received a Bachelor of Science in Education from St. Thomas Aquinas College and a Master of Science in Education from Hunter College. She holds permanent New York State certification. Sister Catherine Rose worked for two years in business. She entered the Dominican Congregation of LA, the Rosary, in 1961. Treasured teaching experience was gained at St. John Chrysostom School, Thorpe Secretarial High School, and St. Helena Commercial High School. In 1984, Sister Catherine Rose was elected to membership on the executive team of the Dominican Sisters. This ministry spanned eight years as she served as member of the leadership team and director of information services. In 1992, she accepted the invitation to join the staff at St. Elizabeth's as librarian. She was happy to return to the Heights and interact with elementary school children. Since September 1994, Sister Catherine Rose has lived out the Dominican Sisters' mission of education at Aquinas High School, her alma mater. She served initially as assistant principal and since 2000 as principal with the transition to a president principal model of governance. Each day for her brings new surprises and challenges. She interacts with students, partners with parents, and works collegially with faculty and staff in the community of faith and learning. For her leadership and dedication to education and her love and devotion to the Dominican Sisters of Sparco, Catherine Rose Quigley, OP, MS, class of 1966, is proudly inducted into the St. Thomas Aquinas College Alumni Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Dr. Margaret Fitzpatrick, Board of Trustees, Honorees, Dominican Sisters, Families, and Friends, I am humbled and honored to be selected to represent the graduating class of 1966. I accept this award on behalf of the sisters with whom I graduated. When thinking of what I might say this evening, I reflected upon St. Thomas Aquinas and his contribution to the church and to the world. He is one of the great liberators of the human intellect. He reconciled religion with reason. He insisted that the senses were the windows of the soul and reason had a divine right to feed upon facts. He maintained that reason can support faith and that governments must not violate what he considered human rights. He exuded common sense. He was brilliant and humble. St. Thomas Aquinas' teachings and theology live on in perpetuity. Thomas Aquinas is also the patron of schools and universities. The Dominican Sisters of Spark Hill were thoughtful in choosing such a wonderful role model when they founded the college and named it after such a great intellectual giant. I have been blessed with the Dominican Sisters of Spark Hill in my educational journey, elementary school, high school, and college. In all experiences, I encountered genuine, joyful women who instilled within me a desire to work hard, the same value learned at home at an early age. My experiences at St. Thomas Aquinas College are filled with wonderful memories, walking the path and classes. However, the memory that will last forever is the dedication of the sisters who taught at the college. They were committed to excellence in education in the Dominican tradition. They illuminated the minds and hearts, postulants, novices, and young professed. Knowledgeable and confident, we were prepared to embrace the teaching profession as vocation. It was exciting when laywomen joined us in the college and of course the full access to men later on. I remember being assigned to work in the college before and after class and during the summer. 
One summer, Stack and Dominican collaborated to join their respective card catalogs, thus opening up library access. I was thrilled when my niece chose Stack as her college of choice. This seed planted more than 60 years ago has grown exponentially under the leadership of past presidents and continues today with the dedication and commitment of Dr. Margaret Fitzpatrick. My primary ministry has been in high school education. Each school experience has been a response to a call to be a changing force and influence in the lives of high school students at a crucial time of growth. Since 1994, I have been privileged to minister at our Congregational High School Aquinas. It has been particularly rewarding as we carry forward the mission of the Dominican Sisters of Spark Hill in this congregational school founded in 1923. It is in this place and time that I commit myself to proclamation of the reign of God through a ministry for justice. Each day brings new surprises and is never boring. The interaction with students, partnership with parents, and collegiality among faculty and staff enable us to do together what could not be done alone. We educate young women in a community of faith and learning rooted in the Catholic tradition and committed to excellence in the education of young women, mind and heart, body and spirit from the mission statement. The work is challenging, the rewards abundant. Through the legacy of the Dominican sisters, the giants upon whose shoulders we stand, and extraordinary leadership and dedication of the many men and women who have joined us in the Ministry of Education, we have and continue to make a difference. I am proud to be an alumna of St. Thomas Aquinas College, class of 1966, and acknowledge the contribution of St. Thomas Aquinas College in my educational journey. I take this opportunity to express gratitude to my family, my religious family, and my school community for their presence in my life. May the great St. Thomas Aquinas continue to be our guide and model in illuminating the mind through truth. Thank you, Dr. Margaret Fitzpatrick, Mr. Kevin Degnan, and the Alumni Association for this honor.